In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at restoring server data. So to get started, we'll go ahead and click on the Computers and Backup tab in the dashboard. And here we can see for the server we have a number of different tasks available to us, including restoring files or folders for the server. So let's go ahead and start that Restore Wizard. As with all SBS wizards, we have an introductory page that explains what the wizard will do. Go ahead and click Next. And then we want to specify the backup location. So in this demo, we'll go ahead and use the server itself. And we have a couple of choices to make things easier. Uh, typically, you would restore from the most recent backup. That's most often the case. But you can also restore from any selected backup. And you can pick from uh, the date and time that the backups were made. Here I have a couple of uh, sample backups I've made. So we'll just pick one, go ahead and click Next. Then you can decide whether or not you're going to restore individual files or folders or whether you want to bring back a full drive. We'll also take a look at doing a complete bare metal restore here in a bit. Let's go ahead and just look at restoring files or folders. So we can select an individual drive and then pick a folder or files within that folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and restore the sales folder. As we do the restore, we have a number of different options, including whether to restore the files back to their original location or to direct them into another location so that you can retain both copies. Another option for retaining both copies is even when you're placing them back in the original location, you can create a copy of the existing items or simply replace the existing items with the restored versions, depending on your situation. So let's go ahead and click Next, and then we have a final confirmation screen, and then the restore can begin. As we can see, it's a quick and easy process to restore files or folders or even an entire volume using the dashboard of the server. Now let's take a look at doing a bare metal restore of the entire server. And to do that, we're going to restart the server with the installation media inserted into the DVD drive. After booting off the installation media, we have a couple of different choices. We can choose to perform a new installation or to repair an existing installation. So let's go ahead and, and select that. At this point, the server will be scanned to determine the latest available system image. You can also select an image if you want a different backup date or time. For this example, we'll go ahead and use the latest available and simply click Next. And at this point, we have some options. We can choose to format and repartition the disks according to the information contained on the backup destination. We can also exclude some disks if we want to do that. Or we can restore only the system drive. In this particular example, we'll go ahead and restore all the volumes and format and repartition them as they were. You also have the option, of course, of installing drivers if you need to. If you're replacing hardware due to a hardware failure, you may need to install the latest drivers for that hardware. The advanced options give us just a couple of different choices in terms of automatically restarting the server or automatically check and update any disk error information. So we'll go ahead and leave those checked and then go ahead and click Next. And at this point, the server is ready to be restored. This process is much faster because the backup destination is a hard drive as opposed to tape backups that you may have performed in the past, but can still take a considerable amount of time depending on how much data needs to be restored. So we'll go ahead and say yes to continue. And then once the restore has been performed and the server will reboot and it will be back exactly as it was on the date and time that the backup was made. So this enables you to completely restore your server after say a physical failure of your system disk or after any situation when the entire server becomes unavailable. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you'll join us for future Learning Byte videos.